Hi, my name's Alex Goldberg and I'm a final year rabbinic student at Montefiore College. And this week I was invited to uh, an iftar. Um, and I was invited to speak and one of the participants there asked me, uh, what do Jews think about Ramadan? And I think we look at things that we have in common. So fasting, feasting, communal togetherness and devotion are some of the things that both Muslim and Jewish communities share. Actually, we share more than that. We have strictures, structures, rules, and a framework to live a better life uh, so we can serve both God and humanity. It was with this mindset uh, that helped me three years ago when I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. The doctor gave me seven ways to die. The ones I remember were heart disease. Uh, I also remember uh, strokes, going blind, and even amputations being mentioned. She gave me a choice or a challenge to lose um, uh, weight and uh, through exercise and a healthier lifestyle um, and, I, and I chose to take up our challenge and I succeeded. However the hardest thing for me was going cold turkey on sugar. I've got a really sweet tooth but I decided to treat it as not being kosher as I recently told an imam. Um, I basically declared it as being haram. So out went sweets and sugars and soft drinks and then there were sugary foods that went out as well like pasta sauces and fruit juices. Oh, and the Jewish food? Yeah, I think we might have this in common too. A lot of sugar, a lot of fat. That had to go. I went through painful withdrawal symptoms for, for about a week. Shakes, goosebumps, cold sweats. And eventually, over three months, I lost 20 kilos and my blood sugar levels returned to something uh, more, to, more uh, like normal. What I did was I changed my entire routine. I didn't do it alone. I listen to friends, I listen to the doctors, oh, and I listen to athletes too. And I did it with the support of a community all around me. In all this, I did start reading uh, from my own uh, sources, uh, and I read Maimonides, Rambam, uh, Moshe ben Maimon, who's actually known as Musa ben Maimun in Arabic. And he's one of our great rabbis, uh, who served as a doctor to the vizier of Egypt by day, and to his local... Muslim, Christian, Jewish community at night. Uh, it's sort of a early interfaith activist, if you like. And 800 years ago, he realized habits were really hard to break. And most illnesses, uh, he said, which afflict a man are caused by harmful foods or overeating. And whoever guards his mouth guards his soul from distress. Another commentator, the Radvas, comments on, on Rambam and says, you know what, Rambam's right, and he's right for this reason. We actually don't own our own bodies. We're given them by God, and we have to protect them. Otherwise, we desecrate them. In the last two years, around about 50 friends have come to me privately for advice about how I did this, how I lost so much weight, and uh, how I returned myself to health. And two groups really understood what I did and found my method useful, observant Jews and observant Muslims. We have so much in common. Uh, we, we are disciplined, and it's not just a discipline of fasting uh, or uh, avoiding overfeasting or developing a healthier lifestyle, but a whole range of disciplines that our two faiths give to us as tools and concepts. And those tools and concepts give us the ability to create a framework, to put aside things that do harm, and create something that changes ourselves, our communities, and eventually, and more widely, humanity for the better and that's the message I get out of all this Ramadan Mubarak